This tutorial explains how to group a data frame based on multiple columns using the R programming language. So without too much talk, let's dive into the R code. In this video, I will show you an example, and this example is based on the data frame that we can create with the lines 2 to 4 of the code. So if you run these lines of code, you can see at the top right of our studio that a new data frame object is appearing, which is called data. And if you click on this data frame, a new window is opened, which is showing the structure of our data set. And as you can see, our data frame contains 12 rows and three columns, whereby the first two columns are our main group and our subgroup indicators, and the third column contains numeric values. Now, let's assume that we want to group our data set based on these two columns. Then we can apply the functions of the dplyr package. And in order to use these functions, we first need to install and load the dplyr package, as you can see in lines 6 and 7. I have installed the package already, so for that reason, I'm just going to load it with line 7 of the code. So after running this line of code, we are able to use the functions of the dplyr package, such as group by and summarize, as you can see in lines 9 to 12. So in lines 9 to 12, I'm actually grouping our data based on two columns. And I'm specifying that within the group by function. So within the group by function, I'm specifying our main group indicator and our subgroup indicator. And then I'm using the summarize function to create some summary stats for these groups. So in this case, I want to create a new column, which is called sum. And in this column, I want to aggregate the values in our values column and I want to sum these values within each subgroup. And then in the last step in line 12, I'm using the sDataFrame function to specify that I want to create a data frame output. This is an optional step, so you could also skip this line of code in case you prefer to work with tables. So if you run lines 9 to 12 of the code, you can see that a new data frame object is appearing at the top right. And if you click on this data frame object, you can see that a new data frame has been created. And as you can see, this data set contains only eight rows because we have aggregated our data. And we have created a third column, which is called sum. And this column contains the sum of each subgroup. That's all I wanted to explain in this video. In case you want to learn more on this topic, you may check out my homepage, statisticsglobe.com, because on my homepage, I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the content of this video in some more detail. I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video, so you can find it there. If you have liked this video or if you have any questions, let me know in the comments section below. I'll try to respond to all comments as soon as I can. Furthermore, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notified about future video releases. I have already published about 500 videos on this channel and I'm releasing new videos on a daily basis. Thanks a lot for watching. See you in the next video.